Question, question two. How does your media product represent particular social groups? And for mine, the social group that it tries to connect to the most and represent is the Indian alternative audience. We can tell straight away just from the cell line on the cover that um, this is my target audience. For example, it says, no gossip, just great music. And I think this represents the subculture quite well. Like, it's quite exclusive and it's quite a niche audience. And we can tell just from like the fashion and the music itself that it's quite isolated from other cultures. It's, we can also tell from the pictures it, all throughout the uh, magazine the cover, the contents and the door page spread. The, uh, the people on them are quite fashionable, like the clothes they wear. This is also quite common and typical of the uh, indie audience I'm going for. For example, like wearing chinos and stuff. Um, the way things are written on the cover as well, like uh, the bands, the fonts used for the bands and stuff in there, like the cell lines and stuff. We can see that it's uh, quite exclusive. It also uses continuity with the colours. Um, it uses mainly black, red and white, which I think like attracts audience, for example, like with the titles and stuff. Um, people sign of related to the magazine, so it will be seen as a magazine for this culture. Um, the, the whole the layout of the magazine is also quite clean cut. It's not too busy. It's quite it's kept quite simple, and it's kept quite like, for example, on the cover with the text, it's quite uh, it's quite bold. It's easy to read and it's quite informative, and it still looks quite it still looks fashionable and quite stylish. But it's kept simple, Un unlike if you compared it to something like Metal Hammer or Kerrang, it seems a lot more simple to theirs. I think this is also quite typical of uh, the social group. Like if you if you see the target audience for Quran, it's all it's all like sign of you can see from the magazine it's all like quite busy and I think that like goes hand in hand with the sort of music. It's quite fast paced, quite busy. Whereas this music is sort of more mellow. We can see like make the link to the magazine it's quite simple and quite laid back. Looking at this magazine cover I think that it is aimed at indie kids and alternative kids, that kind of thing. The reason why I think this is because of the use of the colour red and of the clothes that they wear and uh, the, the overall style. I think the colour red's important because it's, uh, it kind of helps to identify with the rebellious culture is very important because it's a dominant colour on the magazine and it helps to identify with the rebellious culture of indie kids and, uh, and alternative kids, that kind of thing. I also think this because of the clean, stylish layout. Another thing that's quite, I think it's quite predominant in my uh, product that I think goes hand in hand with the, uh, the audience that I'm trying to represent is there. Uh, the use of full bands within the product, for example in the cover, there's three people and on the double page spread it shows a full band instead of just like one artist, which I think goes well with the uh, audience that I'm trying to represent, like they see bands as a whole and not just singling out, say, a single vocalist or something, which I think is unconventional of other magazines but for the magazine that I'm trying to create and the niche audience that I'm trying to attract to it works well and I think it attracts my audience like my target audience and which is what I'm trying to do.